Hi. Today I want to do a quick demonstration of um, boost mode charging. The point of boost mode charging is to turn your existing inverter and motor into a battery charger in the electric vehicle with as little additional components as possible. And those components are a simple bridge rectifier and some switch gear. And that's it. So for demonstration I have hooked up a transformer with a simple rectifier um, to the setup. Uh, the only limitation to this is that because it's a boost mode charger your battery voltage at discharge state needs to be higher than the rectified mains voltage. In Europe, um, mains is uh, 230 volts, or it can go up to 240. Um, so when that's rectified, you have to expect about 340 volts. Yeah, so your battery system has to be well above that. Let's say if you have a 400 volt system, it's okay in Europe. And in the US, where you have 110 volts, I think, you should be okay with a 200 volt um, battery. Okay, enough talking. I will just uh, start boot mo boost mode now uh, with this pretty weak vintage transformer, uh, which clearly shows that it's uh, just working, <coughs> it's just rectified mains uh, without a smoothing cap. Um, boost mode charging <coughs> is enabled by pulling both uh, forward and reverse to high and it's only activated upon the usual conditions <coughs> which is that the um, inverter caps need to be pre-charged to a certain voltage and that all the hardware disable pins uh, need to be high. Okay, you may be able to hear the transformer hum. And we see that we have an input voltage um, of 14.3 volts and an input current of 4 amps. I'm not sure if you can see that, it's on this analog uh, meter on the transformer. And the inverter supplies. Um, 2.4 amps to the batteries and a battery voltage of 25.7. Okay, so that's just to prove uh, that this works uh, very well with just the rectified mains. Um, so next uh, we will repeat this but from a stronger power supply. And then we will actually do um, a rough efficiency calculation uh, to see that this is actually worthwhile. And I will just uh, quickly revive it and be back. Okay. So now uh, this uh, 16 amp power supply is uh, connected uh, to the input. The clamp meter still shows uh, the battery current and the HP meter. Um, it's this one right here shows the battery voltage and uh, the input current and voltage are on the power supply. I will increase uh, the current set point to 14 amps. And enable. Okay. We ramped up. So currently we see nine point six amps into the battery at twenty five twenty seven point four volts. And we put in 20 times 
how much is it? Let's say 14.9 into our system. And this gives us an efficiency of 88%. So this voltage is actually pretty good because um, this inverter uses IGBTs which are meant for high voltage and they constantly drop uh, 2 volts which is already about 10% um, uh, of our 20 volts and also the short key diode is dropping about 0.4 volts and uh, then uh, we have the motor which was never meant to be a boost mode inductor and uses steel laminations instead of a ferrite core and that loses some energy again. Um, so those drops from the diode and the IGBT will become less significant when we use uh, an actual high voltage system uh, like um, I have in my car which is 500 volts uh, it's going to be pretty insignificant and I expect efficiencies around 96-97%.